Hey guys, English Picker here. Uh, just a quick mini video of uh, some of my purchases today on the 10th of December 2011. Picked up some coins today. Um, I went to a local coin shop and traded in a load of um, 1920 and 1921 50% silver half crowns, which I picked up for a couple of quid each. So I traded in 12 of those for this. Um, so yeah, the first one I picked up was this uh, 1964 Kennedy half dollar. It's not bad, Nick. It's um, got a few dings on the face there. Back's nice. I'd say fine to extra fine. Um, so that it has been cleaned, so there are some hairlines on it just in the background here, which is a shame. So he only sort of charged me a fiver for that. So the next thing I picked up. Uh, was this um, half dollar here? Let's see if we can get a nice picture of it. There we go. It is a 1943 half dollar. Very nice condition. Almost uncirculated. There's a couple of marks in the background here, so it's probably extra fine. Um, real nice. And the next thing I picked up was a. Um, Silver quarter, 1943 again. Quite sort of worn here, but not bad. It's only the second silver quarter I've got. They're quite difficult to get hold of here. Um, then I've picked up a Mercury dime. It is a 1936 Mercury dime. Fine condition, you know, not too bad. I haven't got one of those yet. Then um, a Rosie, a 1964 Roosevelt dime. You know, quite nice condition. Bit of a carbon spot on it. Not too bad. So that's good. Then I got a uh, Barbara. My first Barbara dime, it's a 1913. Actually, my second Barbara dime. 1913. Not bad. Good to find, I'd say. Very good to find. Um, and then I got a BU 1964 D. Rosie. So, uh, I mean, the marks are on the plastic, not on the coin. Still got the luster, it's quite cool. Um, and then I um, picked up this. It's a Canadian dollar, 1965. They use silver coins for a lot longer, so uh, you can get them later on. It's only 80% silver. Nice on the front here, I'd say. You know, extra fine condition on the front. But unfortunately, on the back. I think someone doesn't like Elizabeth II because there's well, almost looks like knife marks in her neck. Um, but yeah, all in good order. That's sort of 20 quid's worth there. So like that. Pretty cool. And then the uh, deal of the day really was this one. It's Morgan Dollar. Uh, I thought it could be fake, but it's all weighed right. It's all tested right. It's just got a really strange colour toning to it. It's um. An 1889 O mint mark. It's my first one with an O mint mark. It's a bit worn, sort of fine condition, I'd say. Between fine and extra fine. Not that I'm brilliant on grading, but I'm getting there. 1889. And that was 20 quid as well. Well, the equivalent of 20 quid in trade. With the O mint mark. Not too bad. All in all, pretty good. I mean, with the half dollar of that and all those, that adds up to an ounce of silver. Uh, then we've got the solid silver half dollar, which he actually thought was a 50% silver one. He didn't know that. So it's, it's quite good to catch coin dealers unaware that he really specified in British coins. So he knew a lot about that. But the American ones, he knew enough. But obviously not enough because he's charged me uh, spot 
um, on a 50% silver one, or what he said was spot, but it wasn't, it was more than that. Um, and then 40 quid's worth there, so, I mean, I got a good 50 quid out of him, technically, but, you know, never had a Canadian dollar before. A bit smaller than um, the American ones, uh, but I do really like this Morgan dollar. I did think it could be fake, but... It weighs right, it weighs it weighs twenty six point five, which is slightly less than the other one I've got, but it is a bit worn. Uh I've actually tested the edge with the silver solution, it does test the silver, which was a bit naughty, I shouldn't have done that. And um yeah, it, I I think it's real anyway. So um so yeah, just some bits I've picked up this time. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe and um I'll catch you next time.